One of the tools that SAP ships with SAP Business Objects is Live Office. This is a chance to get your data from universes, Webby reports, and Crystal reports from your BI uh, launch pad and your repository to uh, Microsoft products so that you can go ahead and use that data in either your calculations or use different visualizations in your presentations. So what we're going to show here is two different uses of Live Office. Uh, the first one is Microsoft Excel. You'll notice at the top of your screen, there's going to be an additional tab after you install Live Office. It's called Live Office. It's a plug into Microsoft Excel, and it'll integrate seamlessly with that. You have an option to bring data in from your repository in a number of different formats. One would be a universe query. You can also bring data in from a crystal report or a web intelligence document. And then once you bring the data in, you can also export either a selection of the data or your current sheet out to Business Objects Explorer. That will give you a, a chance to more graphically and do a deeper dive on your data as well. So let's go ahead and bring some data in. What we can do is we can come into a universe query right here. We can go in, uh, go right here into WN Sales. We can bring in some data. So we'll go ahead and bring in our customer name their state. We'll also bring in a number of revenue objects here. You can also apply a filter here if you would wish uh, to farther, further filter your data before bringing it into an Excel. Click Next here. We give our object a name and we click Finish. So now that we've brought our data into Excel, we can do everything that you normally do in Excel we can change the formatting objects on the, on the column. We can change the number format to something that is more display friendly. We can also go to Live Office itself. And from here, we can go into our application options. And we can change our credentials or specify the URL to send the, the object to Explorer. We can also, by simply clicking on the object, we can then move the columns around and do all of our integration there. Now what we can also do is we can come into PowerPoint. We can do the same thing, but in this case, we're going to go ahead and create a web intelligence document and pull that in. And we'll go ahead and pull in one of our objects here. And here you can bring either charts or tables in from those documents. And we can simply choose a block from any one of our reports here. So we want to grab both these. We can simply control and select both of them. Hit next. Hit finish. And so now you can see we have two different components that we can then resize and place anywhere on our PowerPoint. 